for clicking this video welcome to my channel on today's episode i'm going to be reviewing smart money woman so smart money woman is a book i've read some three years ago to be honest because she launched in london and guess what guys i was actually the press picture with rsa when she went back to nigeria and this day pictured her i'm going to put a picture of that here that's our side today we're going to be talking about the lessons we learned and every other thing about this series i hope you've watched it so we have my honorable guest who's gracing us we have presents one more time on the channel hello it's me again more craft creation on youtube instagram yes. and, and tiktok yeah yeah, so TikTok, I'm here yeah, today to talk about Smart Money Woman. Wait, my name is Metro Gypsy, and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. Um, Smart Money Woman is a book which I think every female should read. I told her to watch the series before we came hanging out because we actually hung out today, did some shooting, yeah. and we're now trying to film just beside her. Road. Normally, we're tired or since we're home, but we said no. We got to do this because you guys need to get all the tea on the series yes. and the book itself. Yes. So yes, did you guys yes. read the book? Actually, no. The book came out about the same time with Toke Makewa's book, and right. because the gist on Toke then was, was the very tea hot, was very hot. So <laughs> you know, I was so keen to get in there to hear all the gossip. So I decided to buy Toke's one instead, and I didn't even think of um, Arrested's book since then. When this um, series came out on Netflix, I was like, you know, I'm going to watch it maybe in the half term when I don't have much to do. But when you now spoke to me at the beginning of the week and asked yeah. me to watch it, I'm like, okay, let me just do that. Yeah, and I'll and tell luckily, you guys, seven episodes. she asked me to watch it. I came back from work that day. I did not sleep till 2 a.m. Wow. because I couldn't stop. After the first episode, you want to see what's happening next. You want to see what's happening. So I just binged. In fact, thing. I told my husband the next day, I said actually I was on a course overnight because <laughs> it's not like a series, like a course it that was. every she was lady, actually taking notes. I was taking notes, Which you know, I was do. that's what you need to do when you watch this. Yeah. Anywho guys, so um she actually has two books. This is the first one, the smart money. This was the one that she came and launched in London and I went to the event. The second one, I don't think she has launched it here, probably launched in Nigeria. Um I just thought that she like talk about different tech scenes we saw and then yeah. different things that just stuck to you while you were watching the show. One thing that really stuck to me the very first thing was the support system the girls the girls had, had. each other it's just amazing i was looking at it and i was craving i'm like i want something like this even if it's not up to five it's two three i just want a relationship like this with somebody who and the support system is great they're very real they tell you as it is they can tell each other off and after that they'll still move on and the friendship is still there there is no universe in which that guy is absolutely not icky. Come on now. Uh, no. Was he that bad? Yeah. Yes. Okay, fine. Jeez. Oh. And okay. they got each other's back. Yeah. True. Yeah. So that thing I really liked was the acting of some people. Like um, Adesua, her acting was impeccable. Obviously, yeah. Zuri is yeah. fast. So there's yeah. no way that would not be mad. Yeah. But Adesua really impressed me. I didn't know Lala could act that good. Like, yeah. Was and she was, she's one of the uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. One of our and she's the one that cast the roles. Okay, yeah. she chose the cast. Yeah. Amazing. In all the time we've been married, I never bring it up that I'm the one bringing in the money. Because I believe my money is our money. Okay, so why bring it up now? Also, shout out to Jola for writing the script. I think she was one of the three writers, but one, a lot of the episodes, it was hard. The only, you know the girl from I Said What I Said podcast? Yes, yes. Uh, oh, Jola, really? Yes, yeah, she, oh. she was the main writer. Shout out to you. Girl, you did a good you job. You smashed it. Another person in the cast I would like to shout out to you. That's Zoom is my yeah, the day. Oh, <laughs> my single sister has been such men. <laughs> yes, so, yes, so whenever they're so making men like that, they should want to produce them more. Some, saying the right oh, thing. As in, um, ah, big, a big, a big, a big, that guy, whoever you are, they've been doing it, so, but yeah, shout out, shout out to you. So whatever Perhaps you like could interest you in drinks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, another good thing about that series while you're watching it, they actually keep bringing out some lessons. So, one of the first lessons I got from while I was watching is saving. I know men, when it comes to saving, I think women are better savers. I yes. would say so. You, as a lady, just as on your own, forget even whether you have partner or not, learn to save, save. what you really did. Yeah, if you cannot save one pound from ten pounds, trust me, you cannot save 10k from one At million. All, Start your saving habit on time. Another one is investment, please invest in shares in stock in you know even small businesses that are just coming up just invest go to a financial advisor 
or um, people who are into business, ask them where you can, you know, where you can put your money. No matter how small. No matter how we small. have things like piggy bears. I watched on Big Nigeria the other day. You can save as much as if yes. five fifty pounds, uh, fifty naira, be hundred naira, something like that, one thousand. Yes. Piggy bears, things like little things you like can. that. Just start. And, and the habit is more important than yeah. you know the the big investment. Just exactly. having that habit of being able to keep something out of no matter how small you are. Yeah. I mean, Imagine you don't have it. Exactly. If you're in UK, you can even go to the post office. The bonds they sell there will yield money. If you're in Nigeria, buy shares, please. That's one good thing. Like uh, me, I'm in the UK, but I still have shares in Nigeria. In Nigeria buy yeah. shares, buy it. It will over time. It's going to build up, and it's going to be just when you need the money most, it is there, sitting, waiting for you. Another lesson from what she said was support system. Build yourself a support system. I know you could have friends who have let you down. You could have friends who you think, oh my God, we should be friends now, but this person messed up. Grow your support system yourself. That you see two of us today. God, you know drop us we didn't go to the same uni we didn't go no. to anything we just had shared values on instagram and then we started yeah. looking up together shooting together supporting each other in content creation mm -hmm. you should have a support system that supports you in your savings in your obviously you have people you play with other people who are there for play but you should also have friends who are your support system yes. who support you in things that actually make sense in yes. life grow it if no one comes to you build it up yourself people that will tell you you're silly and you won't get offended because you know they, they have your interests at hand okay so another lesson i really loved how they said was let your bank statement um, reflect your values and goals in life you can't be having a state you're forming perception perception i know instagram they say it's special so what people believe mm -mm. look at your statements and be real with yourself does this really reflect someone you want to be does it reflect the man you want to be in the future does yeah. it reflect the woman the wife the mother you want to be in the future yeah. if not reorganize yourself reduce things you spend and have a blog post on things you waste your money on yeah. things like subscriptions games on iphone just so many things tv subscriptions are fine but keep only one yeah you get? because that's actually a, a, a waste of time normally it watching is. tv so it, don't buy it. what you don't need just what you need that's all another thing i want us to go into is just to talk about all the cast and just describe you know their role in the series so i'll start with zuri obviously zuri was the lady who was spending up and down the whole place before she knew she lost her job a lot of bad things happened to her those kind of bad things like everything cannot happen to you at the same time it might not happen yeah. to you at the same time but then it, it, it can. Can, can so just know so you can lose your job at any point you can be owing rent you can be owing so many things so that was the role zuri played it's just that in the end you know he ended up with a nice guy lovely yeah. job she worked yeah. so hard and she had a good support system yeah. Oh. Zuri, what happened? My son's father-in-law just died. I did so. I think she was very meek, very gentle. She was just a woman of virtue. Despite all the mess her husband made of her life, she still came back strong. She was a very intelligent woman. I think I love her I'm character. Well. I'm, I'm just saying that, you know, we've been down this road before. You know, I just want, if there's something that you want to say to my face, here it is. Say it to me now. The next one I'll talk about is Ladun. She didn't really have so many scenes in, this, in the series, but she was the one who was married to a rich man. Yeah. Like, she literally wants to go to the, from the mainland to the island. She can call her mother-in-law to send a boat, things like that. She was trying to leave in the Bida Loka. <laughs> you guys, obviously, it's easy to meet as well. It's not easy, but you could be married to a rich man, but then again, that doesn't mean you don't save and take all these lessons we yeah. are sharing with you. The accountants called me a bit concerned that, uh, you spent about three million naira in the last week. On what? <laughs> On shopping, my dear husband. The designer, remind me, what's her name again? Tani, a bit. Tammy, 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 she is delusional, she is uh, living a baby girl's life. If you were my girlfriend, all the money that I have, and I have a lot, I will spend it on you. She needs to mature and grow up though. Need to chase my dream of football, you can't get in my way. Okay, so let's quickly um, name things that people waste their money on that people shouldn't waste their money on. Yeah. But first of all, I would say Ashebi, especially if you're Nigerian, buying Ashebi. That's I always speak to people that are in Nigeria because even in my wedding, I made sure the Ashebi was bare minimum. Like, please, you're not going to wear it again. So what's going to making people spend money on nonsense? So Ashebi. Party, yes. Too much unnecessary things. People just put up and party just to make it so bogus. You don't go to my even hundred. Next thing I'll say is gym membership. Sometimes, like people like me, when I pay for a gym membership, in my mind I already lost five kilograms. That I've already, my money just came out. I've already lost weight. Do you get so? If you're not, you know you're not going to be going to the gym, just make keep things simple. Go on YouTube, do your workouts on there, and stop just doing yourself wasting money on unnecessary gym subscription. Yeah. We just talk about the fashion. Oh my god, the girls 
their fashion, their dress sense was just okay. Epic. Okay, you mean and on the series? On the oh series. my gosh, yes. Yeah. I saw my Beloit's Couture dress oh I wore for two Christmases ago. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Beloit's Online, I think that's their name now. So Beloit's most of official. the clothes were made Nigerian by Nigerian designers. Brands, hey, everything. I'm Even those so bags, proud. those crop bags. I can't remember the brand, but really? it was all Nigerian. Yeah, I've lovely fit. Nothing was too tight. Yeah. See, I'm yeah. breastfed. That's why I'm all dressed up yeah. today, just because we're doing this for the girls. Another thing we'll say is every cobble counts, every pound counts, every pence counts. When you're saving, just save like every single amount count. You might be saying, ah, it's not just two pounds we're dropping. Is it not something? Mm -hmm. It counts. Be frugal with unnecessary things. I think you need to see it. And like I said, you need to have a pen and a paper and take notes because there's a lot of wonderful advice in the series. You're talking about the fashion Osas. There's a way Osas sat. There's a way Osas stood. There's a way like she just it was that, you know when you just see someone modeling something but yeah. at the same time person is still talking, being realistic. Ace. Yeah. Like Osas thumbs up to you for that like, she just sit down with everybody you'll be looking at the outfit yeah. you'll be listening to her you know i'm going to say that finishing school when she was I, I beg is showing only well spent for show. that girl he did show yes, sass so. that like, you mm. killed the everything girl, and i guess yes, that's like you impressed me yeah. so much yeah I mean. run down on the final lessons i dragged from this series high dependency on your salary i know it's so amazing to say ah, i have salary something is coming every every week every month or yeah. whatever don't depend too highly on your salary. Try and find a side hustle. Just try and find skills that you have to get money from elsewhere because you really never know. Especially yeah. in countries that are very old. Even here, as a contractor here, you be, could be any 450 a day. Yeah. One day they'll sack you that same day. Yeah. You guess? And the money is gone. The salary is gone. So yes, high depend on salary, no. The next thing I'll say is health is wealth. So no matter how much you have, you know, not having good health can end everything. It is workout, it is eating right. Once you're 30, trust me, your body is different. Sleep well, eat right. Get insurance because you never like it, especially when you have kids. Get insurance, write a damn will. Especially from the African part of it, I might be wrong, but at least I know in Nigeria, if you talk about will, you will ask whether you want to kill the person that is about to write the will. Will is not something that is encouraged, but this day and age, I think it's very important that people write a will about how they want their property or whatever to be distributed or to be shared among their family. It is very important because it just tears people apart and every, the family just crumbles without a will. The last thing I'll say is you are not too young to invest. As I said, nothing is too small. At the same time, you are not too young. It's, it's a habit kind of thing more than how much am I putting inside. So I really want any young person who's watching this video, don't think you're too young to invest. At least start with saving. Even if it's like a piggy bank where you're putting money inside at the end of the month, you just break it or whatever. So one thing I would say I just didn't like about watching the Netflix series was the font. The font of the smart money woman loved me. Like I love the cursive and everything. But in between the scenes, that other pink font they put, so I didn't okay, like that didn't font like at all. I screenshot some of them. I didn't like that font <laughs> at all. But yeah, it is what it is. Um, Unfortunately, I'm anyway good, a bad thing, but it's not really a bad thing. Yes, so you guys, make sure you grab the book because yeah. it's something. She has all the talking points written every part of the book. Grab the second one, Smart Money Tribe, and then she. I think she has a budget diary kind of thing where you can like budget your money and stuff. And then if you're not really a reading person, just watch the series. She summarizes every single. In fact, in between episodes, she even does like a, a bit of summary. Yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Mo, for joining us on Thank this. You for Sorry. I even forgot to have my because I'll just chat. <laughs> this is so refreshing. Now has yeah. means in it. And all that. So I'll see you guys on the next episode.